What is up, everybody? Jared coming back to you again on the Keystone Carry channel. And today I've got a video for you about my 5 inch 300 blackout from Veritas Tactical. Guys, let's get right into this. Alright, so just kicking this thing off, I'm sure there's already the naysayers out in the crowd saying, you can't run a 5 inch 300 blackout, it's not going to be reliable, it's not going to feed, they're going to tell you all these different things. What you have to understand is with internet hype, most of the people spreading the hype don't have a freaking clue what they're talking about. I'm going to be fully honest with you up front, my friend Alex, the owner of Veritas Tactical, sent me this barrel and rail for this, um, for me to test out and to run. But I'm going to tell you another honest truth is we've been running his 5 inch 300 blackouts now for about a year and a half. Even before I got one given to me to put out on video and give my review of, we've been running them through our company TA Targets and we have been blown away. And in fact, that's how we got onto the radar of Alex. It's how we met him and became friends was through my business partner Ethan who wanted an ultra short 300 blackout that was shorter than... I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, my seven and a half inch 300 blackout. And so he was digging around, came across actually on SLR's website, the Veritas Tactical Uppers, the rails, the five inch barrels, and the rest is history. He bought one, we ran it. I remember that, you know, everybody's mind was blown when I showed them that a seven and a half inch can be extremely, extremely reliable. And then we got the 5 inch and blew even more people's minds because that thing ran everything. And that was with a dead foot arms folder. So it's a proprietary bolt carrier group and a double spring assembly so you can shoot the gun with the folding adapter folded. So all of that together should spell out a basket case essentially. And that is not the case. It is a very reliable gun. So right away I think we should probably discuss why the heck you would want a 5 inch 300 blackout. And I'm also going to be very careful in this video because this is pretty much just a preliminary video. I plan on going really into depth at some point discussing ammunition, how it runs with different ammo, accuracy, velocity, we'll chrono this stuff. And we're gearing up for a video where we compare a ton of different blackouts with a ton of different barrel lengths to show you guys the differences between them and how they perform. With that being said, I just wanted to discuss a little bit why you might want a 5 inch 300 blackout and reasons why I think you should definitely consider it. And if you're going to go this route, I really do highly recommend Veritas Tactical. Alex is a good dude. He's running an awesome small business down in Florida and we finally got to see his shop when we were in Orlando. Good dude, good company and he is pushing the envelope in the industry going places that most people are not. While most other companies are chopping down short barrels with pistol length gas systems Alex is completely redesigning the entire system some of the reasons why I would say that you should consider this is if you are looking for something little and I mean really little like you can go anywhere with say a Verdix EDC transit sling pack this thing in there folded with a red dot and it is tiny I mean this video doesn't do justice to it but this thing is very little. It is, in my opinion, the perfect gun if you are looking for something that is absolutely incognito, something that you're not planning on reaching out and touching 200 yards, although these can, we've done it. I'll give you an example. So this is a great gun. Say your state allows you to carry in church and you wanted to carry something with a little bit more firepower than say your sidearm and you wanted something that you could really lay down the power if you had to. This is a great option because again bags like the Verdix EDC Transit Sling are 
totally inconspicuous and they just blend right in. And that's why I have this. That's why I got the seven and a half. But to be honest, there's times when the seven and a half and the Vertex EDC Ready Pack are a little bit bigger than what I personally would want to carry with me. But now this gives me other options. You'll also notice that I have the Call Valley Precision Redirector on the end of the barrel. And I did that specifically for that scenario that I did actually have to use this weapon. I'm not necessarily concerned about my suppressor, and I'm not planning on shooting this with my suppressor much. So the next best thing, in my opinion, was to actually get that redirector so it sends the sound away from me. And it does work really, really well. Don't get me wrong, it is still an incredibly loud sound when you're cracking off a 300 blackout that's this short but it does tame it down some. Let's get into the specs of this barrel, gas block, tube, and rail. Again, I went with a five inch 300 blackout, but you can also buy from Veritas, 5.56 five, super shorties. You can also buy them in 7.62 two by 39. If you'd like to be one of those people and you like to send fireballs, the 7.62 two by 39 throws fireballs. But the coolest part is because of the design of the barrel, the gas block and the gas tube, and because they're not standard, they work really well as a system. They were designed together. It's going to be impossible for me to really show you guys in this video. I'm going to try. But the barrels are not average barrels. They're not your normal M4 profile barrel that used to be 8.5 inches chopped down to 5. These are designed from the ground up with an ultra thick barrel. Hopefully you guys can see that with an ultra thick barrel and so that's going to eliminate flex obviously but that also means you've got to run a bigger gas block and from the way that Alex described this to us when we were down in Florida and met him at his shop is that also gives him the ability with his gas ports to have a little bit more dwell time through the width of the barrel everything that has been done with this from the gas block to the tube was designed to work as a system and that is why they function so reliably. This gun I have run 220 grain subsonic without the suppressor, standard buffer, standard spring. I've also run 150 grain supersonic ammo. I've run 130 grain supersonic and 110 grain supersonic ammunition. And I can tell you that this thing is a very, very, very reliable gun and I would not hesitate to carry this anywhere and that's my plan is to actually integrate this into more professional settings where I really don't want to have a massive bag. You'll see on my upper here I ran with the four and a quarter inch rail it has a quad picatinny setup and honestly with rails like this they're so short it's really hard to put anything on and so to me the quad picatinny rail is acceptable it's definitely not my first choice when we go to rails to get a pick rail but it does have a QD mount on both sides of the rail, and that's how I mount my sling. I'll show you. And again, it's a four and a quarter, so it's gonna come almost to the end of the barrel, but it is almost flush. So you just gotta keep that in mind. If you're gonna run a brake or something and you're not gonna run a suppressor, watch your hand. You'll blow your fingers off. You'll see that I also did the Cerakote in combat gray, just like my other upper. Hold them up together. I love that color. Tyler and I did that the one evening when we were doing some other jobs. And I like Cerakote because it's going to add that protective finish and it just makes it look really nice. Show you guys all the way around. I'm currently actually running a Sightmark Red Dot and that might, might kind of surprise some of you, but this was sent to me. It is the M Spec Mini with LQD and the AR riser. And I'm not going to talk about this a whole lot today because that's going to get its own video very soon. And it might surprise you what I have to say about it. But anyway, I didn't put a variable power optic on this because this is my close range gun. This is that gun that I'm going to use if I'm 50 yards and in, maybe 100 yards and in. We tested 125 grain ammo through Ethan's. We got an average of about 1,570 feet per second at about 10 feet from it. And so that's plenty, that's cooking along plenty fast. It's gonna expand the ammunition, it's gonna do its job, penetrate the way that it should. It's going to work. Um, a lot of people are hesitant about 
running a super short barreled rifle or AR pistol, but I can tell you those experiences that people are having are often from really cheap kits that are poorly designed and are pretty much like I said before just a chopped down M4 style barrel and sold to the consumer as a finished product. What you're going to see on the lower receiver is actually my short barreled rifle lower. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on that. I've done a video on my 300 blackout, my seven and a half inch. Here's the upper for that one. So I'm going to put one of those little sticky things up here. Way up here somewhere. And click on that link and give it a look. And look at what we've done with the seven and a half inch 300 blackout. I think you guys will learn a little bit from that. And hopefully this little teaser of this guy was enough to get you intrigued. Like I said, this is a Veritas tactical upper, shouldn't even say upper, it's a barrel, rail, gas block, gas tube. Call Valley pre Precision on the muzzle device, and that is an Anderson upper receiver that I got stripped, and just an Anderson standard charging handle and bolt carrier group. So nothing special, there's no special pixie dust on this that makes it run really well. One of my favorite things on the range about this setup is how flickable it is. And I'm gonna use that term because I think that that's just the best way to describe it. It's easy to throw up, it's easy to do a reload, and it's easy to get back on target. It is a comfortable gun to shoot. Recoil isn't bad at all. Um, the muzzle device helps redirect the noise away. But I just found myself on the range banging 1R1 drills one after another after another after another. I was having a blast. And I'm really excited to run this thing through its paces. And like I said, this is kind of just an introduction video. I'm going to go a lot deeper on this topic very soon. But hopefully this introduced you to Veritas Tactical. Alex, again, is a good dude. Reach out to him. Tell him that you saw his uppers on my page. You can also go over to Instagram, at Keystone Carry, and check them out there. Also, you'll find content at TA Targets, and that is my company where we manufacture steel targets. If you're running one of Veritas Tactical's 5-inch or any of their other 556, 300 Blackout, 762x39s, or any of their other firearms they've got going on, leave a comment down below and let people know what you think, because that's going to help them make an educated decision when they're investing their money. Guys, that's the end of this video. So let's wrap up and I'm gonna give you guys a couple updates. Guys, it has been an incredibly crazy last couple weeks and I do apologize because I have not been putting out the videos that I wanted to. We had gone down to Florida. I pumped out a video real quick that I was able to release before we left. But then I think it's been almost three weeks since I posted a video and my goal originally was every two weeks. Now, things came up, things got hectic, and as many of you saw from my Instagram, I started the turbo diesel Jeep swap, and that was going great until it wasn't, and so I'll give an update on that very soon. But in other news, business is moving along, we're still doing a ton of Cerakote, so if you guys are in the market, please keep us in mind, make sure you reach out to me via my Gmail account. And just let me know you're looking for some Cerakote. We will get you in, get your stuff done quick, get it back out to you. You'll have an epic looking firearm at the end of it. And you'll be showing support to a guy and another dude, Tyler, who just want to build a business. And you're helping to support my family when you support the Keystone Carry Movement and you support TA Targets. Those are two great ways that you can help show some love to me and some support to the page. And honestly, I don't really foresee myself doing a lot of different other avenues to ask for support. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing Keystone Carry to make money. I'm not here to make money on advertising on YouTube. And honestly, the end goal of this whole page isn't necessarily to gain a massive following. I want to reach people. I want to impact lives. And hopefully, through my experiences, I can share some information with you and maybe you can learn something in the process. And check this freaking sweet hat out. My wife got this for me. This is from Holtz Leather Company. Guys, this hat is amazing. And maybe someday you guys will want one too. And if that happens, you should probably message me. And maybe we can make that happen. Until next time, guys. Stay well, stay safe. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, share the video, comment, give it a like, and stay tuned.
because there is way more to come. Thanks again, guys.